The story behind the WE Directive is a law that's come in from Europe to make sure that electrical products are recycled. The whole WE regime remains relatively, relatively new, relatively young. There's a great deal of change going on in the lighting industry at the moment in terms of the types of products that are being produced, what they're made of, the materials that go into them, how long they last, and all of this has a big effect on how they are recycled. We can increase, in my view, the recycling rates by giving people better access to collection facilities to enable people to, in the community to dispose of their lamps properly in containers and at facilities that are easily accessible to them to encourage them to more easily recycle. The ideal recycling scheme for lighting has got complete engagement with all the stakeholders because for, um, for it to be effective it's not just about the producer members and we're delighted to have some of the largest lighting companies as members of our scheme. But it's not just about uh, those though, it's also about the other stakeholders. It's the contractors, it's the wholesalers, it's the retailers and it's the business end users. Getting full engagement of, with all of those will really make a difference to recycling rates. There's a certain amount of saturation in terms of energy saving messages or recycling messages on the market um, and getting the right message out there um, to businesses and to the end consumer is very important. Um, some of them are part of schemes, some of them are aware that you can recycle but um, an ongoing concern is how to recycle, how to make it easier and simpler for businesses and consumers to recycle. Lighting is one of the hazardous streams of we that we, uh, we have uh, around Europe and it's very important that we recycle as much of that as we possibly can. We don't want mercury entering the environment um, and we want to recycle as much of the material as possible. Ultimately it's going to be vital that we're able to recycle, recover, reuse as much of a light fitting as we possibly can. There are some things like light bulbs, light lamps and things that will just end. They deteriorate to the point that they fail and then that's about recovering the material that's inside those. There are other components which can last for hundreds of years because of what they're made from. At the moment we don't see that, we just see a light fitting, you make it, you use it, you throw it away. What we want to do is to go, you make something that can produce light, you put it together in a particular way, but when that has gone through one iteration, you can then imagine that those components can be used again a second time, a third time and a fourth time.